Not gonna believe it. Bloody disaster. Oh, bloody hell. Didn't like that. I don't want rain. Right, here we go again. I'm gonna ted this grass because the weather isn't the best, it's just overcast. It's supposed to come out a bit brighter this afternoon, but um, it's not the best. So I'm gonna ted it all, and then I might row a bit up this afternoon, so I got some in front of the baler, and then leave some till tomorrow to get it to dry as much as I can. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's tedding all right, so everything's golden, I think, at the moment. So we better crack on. Start her up. This is my new second hand tether. I bought it last year. That do a bit of work to it, but at the moment, touch wood, it's going all right. Only just, I dragged it out the edge earlier, greased it up, checked it round, blew up a tyre, and uh, then come up here and fired it up. And seems to be going okay. I used to have to do all me Ted in. Well, I've still got it. With an old A-Bob. Oh, it used to take me forever. And it didn't do the best of jobs. I could only grab sort of one and a half rows at a time, but it didn't work. <coughs> it was better if I'd just done one. Well, it took me forever to Ted anything. So I got this one, it makes it, as I make a bit more hay nowadays, well, I, well this year I'm going to try and make a bit more hay, but <coughs> the way the bloody weather is, I don't know whether that's going to happen. It might all be silage. So, and there we go. Now this is chucking it about lovely, I'm quite pleased. Hopefully the bloody sun will come out later and help dry it out a touch. As I swung round, I hope this rows up all right as I tethered it, because sometimes it'll row up a bit lumpy. I don't want it to be too lumpy. It's a bit damp underneath in the rows, so I want to uh, just move it a bit, just uh, get the air and whatnot into it, the sun if it comes out.
doesn't take long to do with this tether. Oh, I don't know when I started. I'll have to plot the next deal to see when we started. Oh, you're able to see me cattle. Up here along the bank. Up a league racing away. Eventually. Eventually. Once I've got this off and picked up, and it's grown up, they'll come and graze these fields as well. And that'll keep them all going. Uh, they got quite a bit of grass here at the moment for now, so I ain't too worried about them. Bitch. That was the dog clutch, it's because a lump. A lump of grass. A bit too big and it didn't like it, it was trying to go through the tether a bit too quick, even though I have slowed down a touch. It um, don't like it. Fold her up. Look how this works. Clever. That one goes up first. And then that one folds up and over. There we go. Job done. All the tines on there. It is a bit damp. Go along here. Stop it down. Oh my goodness. Done that because he's on the hill. Right. Here we go. Let's stick you at the back. Oh, is that the sun trying to come out? Oh, it is too. Bloody good job. Oh, what's the time? It's 18 minutes past 11. We'll see how long. I think this field's around about five acres. See how long it takes to chuck this about.
head in this pretty nicely as well. Go nice and steady. Come on, son. Oh, where's that aircon? I'm getting off, man. Oh, you bitch. Breaking the dog clutch in. I don't know if we can tighten them up. Might just go a bit slower.
Come on, girl. This is over a heavier crop. Oh, we've got a problem with the tether. Right, I've been doing a bit of turning this morning for hay, and unfortunately, safety bars on my tether have fell off. I can still, I want to go tedding this afternoon, just chuck it about again, get it dry because I'm going to bale it tomorrow, but I can still use it without the thing, I just haven't got the bar. But basically, it's supposed to look, bearing in mind this is a second hand tether, it's quite a few years old, and it looks as though it's had a little bit of a hard life. But it's supposed to have that, this, on the air bolted there and bolted there and it like protects if you come to a post or a tree or something you got too close to the edge just protects the tether and people really so that is supposed to look like that but this side now looks like that see that bit's broke that's supposed to be in there like that. That bit there is supposed to be bolted, uh, bolted on there. But if you look at it, it's been hit before. Been hit and welded there. Been welded up there. Been welded there. I think it's had a coming together with something. This is before I had it. And by the way, I never broke this. It broke itself. It vibrated and fell apart and found it on the floor. Well, this bit was still attached, but the rest of it fell off in bits. That bit fell off first, then that bit fell off. So I'm going to have to do a welding job. But I want to go do a bit more Ted then, get the grass a little bit drier if I can in a minute. So I ain't got time at the moment to weld it up. I'll have to find a bit of time somewhere, but it shouldn't be too bad. What I'm going to do is clean it all up, cut the crappy stuff off and just clean this up, weld it back up, weld that back up, and weld that back up. Shouldn't be too much of a bad job. And um, bolt it back on. It's like, there's two bolts just there, and these four bolts, I got the other two in the shed, but um, there. So, um, that was a little one of me mishaps today. But that's normal on a farm. Things fall apart and break. So, yeah, I got to sort that out. But, like I say, I tethered it. What's it? It's three o'clock now. I tethered it at, uh, what time did I tether it? It's about 12, I got down there. So it's been tedding for four hours. It's had a bit of dry in. Go down and give it another ted and then it should be hopefully all golden for tomorrow for me to row up and do all that. So I think I'll put all this stuff away. Put all my spanners and tools away in the bars and uh, go row me gra uh, ted me grass and uh, fix this another day when I get there. Really, it's a rainy day job, but I don't want rain. I'll come back another day and weld it up, and you can watch me do that if you want. Right, here we go again. I'm tedding some hay. Just making this little bit into a bit of hay, so I'm tedding it. Earlier on, I was out here this morning, one of my um, guards fell off or decided to fall apart, so I took it off. Don't make no difference to the spreading of the grass. It's just for safety it's on there, really. I need to get this turned to get it dry because I want to row it up tomorrow and get it baled, round bales. Uncle John should be coming tomorrow to round bale it. So um, we better get on with it. I'll show you a little bit of Tad out. I knew something went wrong there. You horrible thing. 
Not going to believe it, a roll pin's gone. So this one doesn't turn. Bloody disaster. There's a roll pin gone in there which drives this one end rotor. And I just wanted to ted this out. I might just ted it like that. I don't know whether this is going to work. Just to... I might have to turn around and go the other way. Or whatever, we'll just see if it works. Because it's just come detached inside what drives it. And we've got to reattach it, basically. But I can't do it here. So it's either go home, but time I sort all that out, it'd be too late to ted it. Or I see if I can just ted because it ain't too bad, it's pretty dry. I just tad round the outside where I want to do in the headland, where it's a bit green under the trees and stuff. Let's see what happens. Right. This isn't how it's supposed to be done. Well, it's like it's making a row. <laughs> well, it's getting close to the tractor. I think all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around this once because it's making a row because the other the rotor ain't going it's making a row Is it worth doing? All I want to do is go under that oak tree, really. Because this is the worst fit in here, it's green. Go down the gear. Just want to tad this under the hedge.
I ain't gonna bother with that out there, it'll have to be all right. We just wanted to do this little bit, if nothing else. Yeah, that's strange, isn't it? It's flipping making a row. It's tedding on the middle, outside in the middle rotor, but because that one ain't connected, it's turning it and doing a row. So Right, that's gonna have to do me. I do. Right, fold it up, take it home. Oh, wrong way. See the coupling? It's disconnected from the drive and there's a roll pin through it. So that's my problem. I don't want 